Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Nav Viking Coffee Mug tutorials. Uh, what I wanted to go through uh, in this session is 2017, NAV 2017. Uh, now that we're in the new year, 2017. Um, it is, of course, uh, good to go over everything that is new. And uh, one of the things that's kind of subtle in uh, the new product, 2017, is the generation of items. Um, I have a video uh, that's based on NAV 2015 that goes through the creation of an item. Uh, but there it was the traditional way, which it has been for a very long time. Um, just in a new version, uh, but in this version, 2017, um, this has been changed, so it's made easier. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a new item just quickly and show you what I'm talking about. I get here into the item screen, and then I just hit new. And when I hit new, I get a list of templates. So it says select the template for a new item. And here we have multiple different uh, templates. So if I say, oh, it's going to be a retail item, just hit OK. And then it brings up the item screen. Um, and it picks the next number in the sequence. I just go ahead and say, OK, this is going to be a, a 2017 coffee mug, standard. Uh, hit Enter on that. and this is it. That's all I need to do in order to create a new item, as long as I want it to behave rather, nor rather normally. And it's it's a retail item, which means somebody put a thought into uh, configuring what a retail item is and what there should be standard in there. Uh, so you can see that it picks up the base unit of the measure. It puts in a tax group here. I know it's set up as furniture, but okay, we'll live with that. <laughs> and um, we have, um, if I go here into the item and show uh, invoicing, if I show the actual invoicing side and price and costing, we can see uh, it's another thing with 2017. You can see here there's show more fields and show fewer fields. This has been around for a while, however, it's been kind of made better in the 2017 version where they actually thought about really what you wanted to show in show more and show less. So if I hit show more on the price and costing, I can see my financial details are here and this is what connects the item to accounting. And this has already been set up by the template. So normal user is really not thinking too much about accounting when they're creating items and they really shouldn't be. Uh, so when the system is being configured, templates are basically just set up, which map the items straight to accounting. So uh, skipping that, um, that step for the user, I always have to put that in. Now, if I go back and explain the templates, I'm just gonna hit new again here. I get this template list. I'm going to sneak peek into this line right here. Hit edit. So this is a template. And as you can see here, if we create a template and enable it, we can set up basic things like what is going to be the base unit of the measure for this particular item type. Uh, is it an inventory item or not? Do we have any ex uh, extended text? Are there any specific price? Uh, calculations or price profit calculations, what is the costing type, standard or FIFO or LIFO, etc. And here the financial details, I actually think this is the most important part, this, is, this gets filled out automatically. The item category used to do this before, but uh, this even takes away the need to have the item category at all. Now if you have an item category, you can set that up for the item template, etc. So. I think it's a, a big improvement. It makes creating items much easier um, so that the person who is actually assigned to that job 
does not need to have um, any knowledge of accounting or the chart of accounts. And that's what I wanted to go through today. I hope it was enlightening and thanks for watching and please subscribe or give comments. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments or of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.